ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time we defeated Faulkner just about, and today, oh, that was such a bad battle. Today we are on Route 32, on our way to Union Cave and Azalea Town. Uh, this is uh, my Pokemon freshly caught. Yes, this is um, a bit of a, a, a cool route. I quite like this one. Um, and oddly enough, there's a Pokemon Center at the end of it, which I never really understood because it's not that much of a difficult route. I mean, especially if you've only got, like, one Pokemon. Um, a lot of the Pokemon here, I think, are, well, tend to be weak to Grass-type moves anyway, so we're going to have a breeze here, uh, especially with Charlie the Bayleaf, um, with its, all of its uh, Grass-type swag going on. <laughs> um, so this Fisherman's got two Poliwags, easily have to deal with. I mean, I'm pretty sure a Tackle would probably take it out. Level 8 isn't really that difficult. It didn't take it out. It barely took it out all that. Hypnosis could be a problem. We'll, we'll ignore that. Uh, so there's quite a lot of new wild Pokemon on this route. Don't you dare hypnotize me. There's quite a lot of new wild Pokemon on this route, and one which we may come back for. I don't know yet. Um, uh, I, I wasn't sure if we needed Flash in the next cave or not, uh, but we don't, which is good. So uh, I did double check that quickly before I started this episode. If so, I would have gone back and uh, got uh, my HM Slave, which I was planning on getting, but no need. Fisherman Justin is going to have lots of low-leveled Magikarp, I'm afraid. <laughs> so we're not going to get too much experience from this, uh, but the good news is they should be fairly easy to take out, and that's irritating. I'm just going to use Razor Leafs, I guess. Um, so yeah, we've got a couple of, well actually we've got quite a lot of trainers along this route to take out. Uh, they shouldn't pose much of a threat, uh, like I said. Um, I mean, the, the area we were last in had a lot of bug type Pokemon in it, um, which, you know, obviously, well, bug and poison, because I guess Weedle's poison sting. As well as flying types, actually, but we didn't actually see a flying type move used, um, which could have posed a problem to a good old Charlie the Bayleaf here. But no, Magic Carp and Poliwags are apparently very <laughs> easy to beat. Oh, level 15. Okay, let's see. Let's see how Charlie does against this one. Charlie used Razor Leaf, and it KO. It KO'd. Oh yeah. So that should be. I, I know Magic Carp don't give a lot of XP, but eh, it really helps. Uh, going through, going through, wants to learn Reflect, so Reflect is a status move, I'll just give it a quick overview of it here now. A Wondrous Wall of Light is put up to suppress damage from physical attackers for 5 turns, so yes, it increases your defense uh, for the whole team for a couple of turns, which can be quite handy, especially in online battles which don't tend to long to, uh, uh, sorry, especially against uh, in online battles which don't tend to last very long, uh, so s stuff like Reflect and I think Barrier? is the special variety of Reflect. I don't know, I can't remember. I think that's right. Um, so yeah, it could be good to use in uh, online battles if, if that's the kind of strategy you want to take. Uh, so this route actually has two paths. The one I'm taking now is the lower one. It's got a couple of trainers on it. Um, I mean, the first two trainers we saw there are avoidable very easily. Uh, but there's another path which we're going to go back and take in a second, which has got some more trainers in it. It's got some wild Pokemon in there as well. Um, as some items, so we're going to go back and go through there as well, because I want to try and collect as much stuff as I can. Um, and actually, we're probably going to be coming through this way again later on to pick up some wild Pokemon. Critical hit, awesome. Because um, actually, I've been thinking about the team I want to use, and, well, I haven't been thinking very hard. I tried to rush things. Yes, you did. Um, yeah, I haven't been thinking very hard about it, but a lot of people... I could teach you how to fish well if you'd like to exchange phone numbers with me. Yeah, go on then. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon for my team, which I probably found along this route and the last one as well before um, Violet City. So yeah, we might be coming back. Uh, this youngster here, I believe he should be quite easy. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. They? <laughs> okay. So he's going to have more than one? No, nope, Pokemon Logic, he's only got one. And Wooper, I think Wooper is part ground. I know it's Evolution Quagsire is a uh, water and ground, which obviously, you know, that means grass type moves will be four times effective. I think Wooper is just water type. I don't know. Can't remember actually. I should probably know more about Wooper. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I said, this route is going to be ridiculously easy. Um, and I think we've already done the that sort of section of the route. I mean, if we come here, there's a guy here. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious slowpoke tail? If you right now just under a million, uh, and you can only actually hold 999,999 poker dollars. So they, I was about to say simoleons. I think that race to a million simoleons is still in my head. Hi, Nurse Joy. How's it going? So yeah, like I said, there's a Pokemon Center here, and I do not know why. 
Um, it's not like a particularly difficult route. I mean, maybe they were expecting some people to have problems with it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe if you chose Totodile, you'll you'll have some problems along this route. Whoops, didn't want to go into my PC. Sorry. I wanted to talk to you and see what you want. What should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe an item that increases its attack power. Maybe. Up to you. This area is great for fishing. Look at all those people fishing. Do you feel like you want to try fishing too? Would you like one of my rods? Yeah, go for it. You'll probably just give me an old rod. Yeah. So old rods are pretty much only good for catching magic up. That's pretty much it. <laughs> when you want to go fishing, face the water and use a rod first. Then concentrate and look closely at the water. A question mark will appear when a Pokemon is taken by it. Press the button quickly to pull back on the line. You see what happens next. If there's water, be it sea or a stream, try out your rod. Okay, sir. We will not do that. Bonjour, how are you? Are you picking apricorns? Yes, I am. Where to go, little apricorn collector? I feel so great, I want to give you this. And he goes, he's going to give us some lure balls, which is great for fishing, apparently. Lure ball, this Pokemon makes it easier to catch the Pokemon that appear when you go fishing. Actually, this is made from apricorns. Consider these two as small gifts from me. If you want more, go to Azalea Town. A man called Kurt can make special Pokeballs out of apricorns. Apricorns rule! So that's another challenge I want to set for myself. Every Pokemon which I catch for my team, I want to catch using apricorn balls. And we'll get to that soon. Um, oh god, this is a bird trainer, isn't it? Is that bird? Yeah, it's a bird trainer. Uh, we should get to Azalea Town in the next episode, but we won't be able to make any uh, Pokeballs just yet. Um, let's go with the tackle, I guess. Uh, for that, we have to sort of complete a little bit of a... Uh, I would say side quest, but it's sort of mandatory as well. So we have to... S uh, we have to satisfy certain criteria. Oh, here we go. The sand attack, Pidgey attack. Sand attack, Pidgey tackle. There we go. That should do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Yeah, hopefully we'll get through Union Cave quite quickly. Oh, no, I didn't realise he had more Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that sand attack is going to suck. Uh, let's just keep mashing the tackle and hope we can we can get a good good couple of hits on him. <clears throat> and the Spearow is probably going to... Oh, no, it'll only take two. That's fine. Peck is going to do a bit of damage, but not too much. It's fine. Like I said, having one Pokemon just at the start is going to make us rather overpowered or overleveled. And the fact that I'm going to be coming back to pick up sort of like low-leveled team members is probably going to cause a lot of complications or problems for me. Um, because there won't be easy ways to level them up. And will you please stop with the sand attack, please? Thank you. No, that didn't hit. Don't you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, I need to get some move which never misses, like swift or... Is it faint attack never misses? Will you stop, please? Please stop now. I hope you will stop now, please. Second hit? Nope, of course not. Well, this is irritating. <laughs> I must have like a 1 in 8th chance of attacking now. Are you seriously doing this? Pidgey, why? Come on, there we go. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think that's all the trainers before Union Cave, so now I'm going to backtrack and uh, take on the, uh, the other side of the route. Just because there's more trainers along there and some items as well. I mean, we can't get through here just yet. We need a Pokemon with Rock Smash, and we didn't get Rock Smash, did we? Didn't we get Flash? Um, oh, we got Roost. Roost and Flash. Uh, but Flash is a TM anyway, not a HM, so... I, you know, in the newer games, I kind of don't get why HMs and TMs are still different. They should be pretty much the same now. I mean, since TMs can be used over and over again. And of course I get a wild Pokemon just before the Pokeball. Um, so Rattata, level 4. Is it really worth it? I guess it is worth it. Let's just tackle it, because why not? It's going to use Quick Attack and take away one hit point. One hit point. There we go. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Tackle should KO it quite easily. There we go. Out of the park. 32 XP. That's more than we got from that level 15 magic art. So we got TM09 here, Bullet Seed. Like I mentioned, TMs can only be used once in this game. In 5th generation they changed it so that they never run out. Um, which at first I was a bit annoyed about, and this spell sprout I'm just going to ignore, I'm just going to run from it. At first I was annoyed about uh, the whole, you know, you can use TMs more than once now, because I thought it took away from the the whole um, strategic using TMs. But I mean, I guess that sort of the end of fourth generation and beginning of fifth generation is really when, um, oh, I need a round, hi, is really when, oh, it could poison me here, couldn't it? And let's just use Raise Leaf. I know it's not going to be very effective. But yeah, but I guess that sort of time period was when competitive battling really took off. Um, so I think that's what the Pokemon Company decided to do. Wow, my voice is getting a bit hoarse. Hang on, excuse me a sec. <clears throat> Hello. That's a bit better. 
Um, yeah, so I, sen- I guess that's why the Pokemon company decided to make that change, since um, competitive battling was getting quite big, and people were just like, yep, I need loads of TMs. So I'm, I'm guessing that's that's the theory behind changing it, but we'll never know unless someone actually interviews them and asks them why they changed it. Um, but yeah, that's why I, I, I just think they should get rid of TMs and HMs. Oh, wild Pokemon in second step. Just want this item, please. Have a bell sprout. We'll just ignore that. Do, 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 do. Ignoring it. Run away. Bye bye. Uh, we will heal again before we go into Union Cave. I mean, we're just finishing up the route, really. A great ball. So, as I mentioned, different Pokemon have different uh, different Pokeballs have different catch rates. Um, a great ball is 50% more effective than a Pokeball. Um, so there you go. It's a it's a good ball to get early on. I guess if you need to have them, I mean, I know some people like catching every single Pokemon in Pokeballs, which I'm personally, I'm the complete opposite. I think that's all the route, actually. Yeah, that's all of it done. Let's go to Union Cave. Uh, let's go this way. Hope we don't get any... Jinxed it! <laughs> yeah, personally, I'm the opposite. I like putting Pokemon in balls, which sort of makes sense. Uh, so, I will use a Dusk Ball on a Dark-type Pokemon uh, if I catch it in a cave, or I will use... Um, like a lure ball on a Pokemon which is like a fish, you know? <laughs> Personally, I find it kind of cool to use different balls against different Pokemon, and that's one of the reasons why I want to use these uh, Johto specific balls, because um, we'll get to that later on, but basically, there are Pokeballs in this game in a gold, silver, crystal, heart gold, and soul silver, which are specific to this game, and they cannot be used anywhere else, uh, lure ball being one of them. Um, so yeah, I kind of like that. In fact, a lot of the Pokemon on my competitive team were actually caught using um, uh, Johto-specific balls and then transferred over where I could breed them for competitive battling. Uh, so here we have Union Cave. It's our first cave of the game, believe it or not. And um, it's going to be home to a lot of Geodudes and a lot of Zubats. Um, I would take down all these Geodudes, but I've got a feeling that their ability is Sturdy. And uh, Sturdy lets them survive a one-hit KO. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Ignore me. I lied. <laughs> um, yeah, Sturdy lets them survive one-hit KOs, so we're, you know, that's not going to be very helpful. Uh, we're not actually going to check out the north of Union Cave just yet, because uh, as you can see, there's a, a trainer there and some stairs. We could battle that trainer if we wanted to, but there's no point in going down the stairs just yet. Uh, because I believe that area requires Surf, and we do not have Surf. Um, at least, not yet anyway, we'll get there later on. Uh, of course, because every Pokemon game has to have Surf in it, right? Yes, yes it does. So Union Cave is a very, very simple dungeon, slash cave. I don't know why I'm suddenly calling them dungeons, I never call them dungeons. Um, and since... oh, there's the Zubat, Fable Zubat. And since um, Charlie is really quite strong right now, <laughs> We're going to ignore all of the Pokemon, but we are going to battle all of the trainers. Um, simply because you know, they can be quite awkward later on in the game when we come back to do them all. And it's just like, oh, you accidentally saw a trainer with a level 11 Onyx. That's going to be a real pain in the butt to take care of now. Um, whereas, you know, right now we could do with the, the XP boost. <laughs> and by the way things are going, by like episode 8, we might have Charlie evolve again, which would be insane. Uh, because by then I'd expect to be like a golden rod, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'm beating big time. Yes, you are, sir. Yes, you are. So Union Cave is a very, very small cave. Um, but still, I, I don't know if it's really worth having here, to be honest. I mean, yeah, there's some rock-type Pokemon you can get early on. Um, not that it's going to be very useful in the next gym battle. I mean, uh, rock-type Pokemon are very good against flying types, which would have done wonderfully well for... Um, Oh yes, we are headed to Azalea, thank you. Oh yeah, it would have done wonderfully well in our last battle against Faulkner, but the next gym, again, I think we're going to struggle with because it's a bug-type gym, and of course, bug super effective against grass. But you know, once um, <laughs> once we've cleared that second gym, it should be easy breeze mode for us afterwards because I think those are the only two gyms we're going to have problems with, uh, simply just because I'm going for, at the minute, just one Pokemon, and that's... Pokemon being good old Charlie the Grass type Bayleaf. But yeah, these Geodudes aren't going to pose much of a threat, especially when we're super fast. We could take them out super quickly. I'm guessing his last one's going to be level 12. I don't know, I just I think his first one was level 4. So 4, 8, 12 makes sense, right? Right? Level 6. Well, I was completely wrong. Anyway, one more Razor Leaf should do that. Um, 
and I believe the exit is just south of us. I might be wrong though, it's been a while since I've been through Union Cave. Um, but yeah, I think it's not too far away actually. Hi, Russell! Oh, oh, oh! Yes, I beat you. What do you say about that, sir? What do you say about that? Nothing, because I'm going to ignore you. Um, so, oh, do you have a way of dodging around here? I think so. Uh, so the, I guess the trainers... Why oh, is this Andrew? Oh, hello. <laughs> I guess the trainers in Union Cave are pretty easy to avoid. Um, I think there's... Actually, I don't think any of them are mandatory to battle. I'll battle you, though. Zubat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. Well, you should be, because your Pokemon are confused and they're attacking themselves, and that's not good. Fire Breather Bill. Okay, so Poison type, that's not going to cause us problems or anything, because we're Grass type again. Again, I, yeah, I have mentioned that Poison type is super effective against Grass type. I should probably stop mentioning type attacks, or, you know, type stuff, because most of that people already know. <laughs> and if you don't, you can find online anyway, like type charts. 145, that's quite a bit. Yeah, send out another one. Give me more of that. I think coughing is um, has high physical defense compared to special defense anyway. Um, so I'm, even though I know Razor Leaf isn't very effective, eh, it's about the same. I was going to say, I know um, it's got lower special defense, and I also know that I get same type attack bonus from being a grass type, and I've also got the Miracle Seed, so that should have boosted it quite a bit more, but obviously it didn't do as much as I thought it would. Anyway, Charlie, now level 20. Good. You're going to learn a new move? No, you're not. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> so let's get this item down here. I'm assuming it's going to be like a Pokeball or a Great Ball, close enough. Uh, so they're really trying to make you catch more Pokemon. How are you doing, Charlie? What's up? Question mark. Charlie's in danger of falling over. What? That wasn't even a question mark anyway. That was an exclamation mark. Whoops. Uh, why is Charlie in danger of falling over? I don't understand. Charlie, the Chikorita, evolved into a bay leaf. Yes, he did. So I did notice this area up here is a bit wiggly, so let's go get it. Oh, what's you? It's a potion. Okay, that could be helpful. Not that we're, like, destroying absolutely everything right now because we're so over-leveled. <laughs> um, another level 6, six Geodude. I should probably use Repels at this point. I mean, this is... Have I got Repels? If I've got Repels, I'll throw one up. But if I haven't, I'll just ignore it. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, item pocket. Repel! I've got a repel. 100 steps. I thought it was 50. Never mind. I'm wrong. Uh, da, 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 da. Another trainer. Okay, looks like you can't avoid this trainer. He, he looks like you have to battle this guy. Oh, and far away, did such a Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? You're my collection rival. I'm not collecting them, sir. I am in Omega Ruby now for Sapphire, thanks to Texnav. But not in... Slowpoke. Hello. But not in uh, Heart Gold. No, I've already mentioned I'm only going to be collecting a few Pokemon in this game. Um, I was thinking about one of my team members, and in order for it to learn the moves which I want it to learn, I am going to have to catch other Pokemon as well. Uh, so that may have given away which one of the Pokemon is, <laughs> um, but it, it might not have us at the same time. That was silly to go that way, at least we won't run into wild Pokemon. Anything down here? Nope. Anything over here? Yep, the exit, and also a Pokeball. An awakening, so you can waken up sleeping Pokemon which will become redundant later on in the game. Uh, okay, so Route 33, the rainy route. Hello, Pant Pant. I finally got through that cave. It was much bigger than I expected. I would got too tired to explore the whole thing, so I came outside. Oh, so here we got a Punk Apricorn and a Blook Apricorn. Pick them up. I thought that was purple then, but no, it's pink. Punk and Blook. A Blook Apricorn. I realised that in my last episode, or the episode before that, I, I kept switching between calling them Apricorns and Apricorns, which is a bit silly. So we do have another trainer battle here, it's a hiker, it's going to go pretty easily. And uh, then we should be in Azalea Town, it will be time to finish the episode. Which will be good, well, it won't be good because some people like watching this. <laughs> but it's good that we made quite a lot of progress. So, uh, there we go. Weather effects, I might as well mention these. Um, you can have different types of weather, I think there are four. There's rain, sunshine, sandstorm, and hail. I think those are the only four, I may be wrong. Um, but they basically have different effects on the, on the match, and I'll, I'll go through them as, or I'll explain them as I find them. Uh, rain, for example, lessens fire types of power, increases water type power, and also makes an extremely powerful uh, Electro-type move called Thunder hit 100% of the time, because I believe its accuracy is 
75 or 80 like normal. Uh, but during the rain it's set to 100, which is very, very powerful. Okay. But it's also sort of like a double-edged sword, I guess, because... Uh, by the way, I'm a hiker, so I have to go into Magnus Cave. I didn't usually go into town, but you go into all types of camp towns of the journey, don't you? You know, we could trade phone numbers and we could exchange all kind of information. Yeah, go for it. I don't answer my phone, but we'll do it. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, but like I said, it, it was like a... It's, it's, it's a double-edged sword, really. Azalea Town, hello. Oh, hello, who are you? Who are you? You don't know us? We are Team Rockets. What? We broke up a while ago. Give me a break. We have not broken up. We actually, we did once, but we have gone back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Fud. You jerk. I'm going to get you. Who are you? Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wander in. I want to go to Samaritan. Yeah, we'll get you in a second. Slowpoke Well, also known as the Rainmaker Well. Locals believe that Slowpoke's yawn summons a rain. Records show that Slowpoke's yawn ended drought 400 years ago. So as I was saying with the rain, uh, as I go into this Pokemon Center real quick, um, sort of a double-edged sword because if a water-type Pokemon uses rain, then uh, it gets power, so, or its water-type moves get powered up. But also Thunder, which is super effective and really powerful, hits 100% of the time. So like I said, double-edged sword. Anyway, after healing our Pokemon, uh, we shall have a quick talk with Charlie and see how he's feeling. Charlie, how you doing? How you doing, Charlie? Kachaka! Your Pokemon stretched out its body and is relaxing. Uh, so yes, after healing Charlie, uh, we will save the game uh, after I get into a nice place. I want to, Charlie to face the bottom. There we go. Uh, we shall save the game, and I shall say thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we made some good progress today, uh, believe it or not. <laughs> it doesn't seem like we've done a lot, uh, but we did make it all the way from Violet City to Azalea Town, which is awesome. And next time, we'll take on... Well, we'll go see what the whole ruckus was about. Slowpoke well, won't we? So yes, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode!